Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial for you guys on the look that I'm wearing right now. This look was actually requested a couple of times in my last video, so definitely check it out. I'll have a link for you guys down in the description box. But like I said, I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial on the look that I'm wearing right now. I did use a couple of colors from the new tooth, not the new, as a matter of fact, because it was relaunched, from the Too Faced um, Sweet Peach palette. I just picked mine up not too long ago, so I've been playing around with it over the last couple of weeks and trying to come up with some looks for you guys. And this is one of the looks that I created using that palette. I didn't use a whole lot of colors from that palette, but I did want to at least show you guys like how I would use it in my makeup looks. Just because the colors in that palette aren't necessarily colors that I would typically gravitate towards like for everyday looks. I did like do a few different things from that last look just because I couldn't remember everything that I used. A lot of times when I'm doing my makeup I'll like switch between different colors or I'll change my mind about like what it's looking like or how it's looking so I'll switch some things up like in between just to make it kind of fit like my vibe for that day. So I did switch a few things up, but I feel like in, in general, it's kind of like the same concept. Like it's really peachy, kind of bright, more like summertime-ish. So hopefully you guys enjoy this makeup tutorial and it's helpful to all of you. And if you'd like to see how I get this look, just go ahead and keep on watching. So I'm starting off with the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette and I'm taking the shade Candied Peach and placing this all over the crease. This is gonna act as my transition shade for this look. And you just wanna make sure you buff that in with a fluffy brush so there's no harsh lines. Next, I'm using the Lime Crime Venus palette and I'm taking the shade Rebirth and I'm just going to place this all over the crease on top of that previous color. This is just going to add a little bit of extra color and kind of brighten the eye look. I'm going back into the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette and I'm adding the shade Summer Yum into the crease area just to add a little bit of extra depth. Next, I'm using Urban Decay's Moon Dust Palette and I'm taking the shade Element and placing that all over the lid. I'm starting off with the NYX Glitter Primer and putting that down first before the eyeshadow just to kind of make sure that it stays on a little bit better and doesn't flake off or anything like that. Next, I'm using Urban Decay's Moon Dust Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Recharge, and I'm taking a very small amount and placing this right on the center of the lid for added brightness. And then I'm just gonna take my brush and blend it out really well. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my skin now. I'm using Max Strobe Cream just to add a little bit of brightness into the skin before I put on my foundation. Then for my foundation, I'm using Lancome Stick Foundation and I'm absolutely in love with this foundation stick. The coverage is absolutely amazing. It's definitely like a medium to full coverage and it blends like a dream. It's so easy to blend. I feel like that's one of the issues that I typically have with stick foundations is it's sometimes just a little bit harder to blend out, especially if you're trying to use a sponge. But this one is so easy to blend out and I definitely recommend that you guys check it out. Go to your local Ulta or Sephora and definitely check this foundation stick out because it is amazing. I'm using Max Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC45. This concealer is in my natural skin tone and I'm just placing this over any areas where I feel like there's a little bit of extra darkness or I have some acne scars because I've been breaking out recently like on my cheek area and on my chin. So I've been preferring like the extra coverage and this concealer has been doing it for me definitely. Moving on to the under eyes, I am starting off with Becca's Under Eye Brightening Corrector and I'm placing this with my fingers underneath the eyes just to kind of brighten and prep it for my concealer. Mm -hmm. 
For concealer today, I'm using LA Girls Pro Concealer, and this one is in the shade Pure Beige. For added brightness underneath the eyes, I'm using LA Girls Pro Concealer and this one is in the yellow corrector and I'm just placing this more so on the inner portion of the under eye area. So I think my camera might have died when I was baking my under eyes because I didn't see any footage of it when I was going to edit my video. So I'm just gonna go ahead and skip over that part, but I did use my Laura Mercier translucent powder. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start on the lower lash line. I'm using Rebirth and Candied Peach. And then I'm taking that shade Summer Yum and placing it closer to the lash line to make my lashes look a little bit more full when I put on my mascara. I'm taking a little bit of this L'Oreal Illuminous Primer. I'm just placing this on my lower lashes, not the top ones because I'm gonna be wearing falsies anyway. And the lashes that I'm wearing today are for Millie Lashes. These are in the style Vegas. And I'm just gonna pop those on with a pair of tweezers. To contour, I'm using the Tardis Contouring Palette. This is the Volume 3. I'm using the one of the bronzing shades and that matte contouring shade, and I'm mixing those two colors together to kind of get my perfect contouring shade. So I'm just gonna buff that into the hollows of my cheeks, kind of along the hairline and along the jawline as well. Then I'm taking my Laura Mercier powder again and I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up my contour just to make sure it's nice and neat because we don't need no messy contouring. To rid of that powdery look, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Mario Badescu Rose Water Facial Spray. As usual, I love this stuff and it makes my, my skin feel so good. To highlight, I'm using Anastasia's Glow Kit and this one is in the color Amber Gold. And I'm just gonna place this on all the high points of the face. So the cheekbones, underneath the brow bone, the forehead, inner corners, bridge of the nose, tip of the nose, as well as the chin and Cupid's bow. And finally, I'm gonna be using NYX's lip pencil in the color Nutmeg to line my lips. Then to fill in my lips, I'm using the Anastasia liquid lipstick in the shade Ashton. Then to top it off, I'm gonna be using a Max Chestnut Lip Pencil, and I'm very, very, very lightly going on the outside edges of my lips just to kind of redefine them. After that, this look is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. I thought it turned out super pretty, so 
Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this makeup look. Definitely let me know what you guys think down below in the comments and also thumbs up this video too if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to follow me on all of my other social media networks. My Instagram and Twitter are both Makeup Tiffany J and then my Facebook page is Makeup by Tiffany J. But I want to give a huge thank you to all of you guys for all the kind words and comments that you guys have been sending me. I try to read all of my comments and I really really appreciate all the lovely feedback that you guys have been giving me over the last like couple of months. And I'm really happy you guys have been enjoying my videos and hopefully I can just continue to give you more. But thank you again for watching and hopefully I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!